Hey guys, welcome back to another flashlight comparison video. We're going to be looking at the Phoenix PD35 and the Nightcore MH12SC. Both of these feature the SFT40 emitter, but there are some differences that I'll talk about in this video. So overall construction, as you can see here, fantastic. Both of them have that high quality machining and anodizing, a little bit on the shiny end, and I think Nightcore's uh, anodizing is a little bit shinier than the Phoenix. If we look at the overall design, you can see there's a lot more of an aggressive design coming across with the Nightcore MH12SE with the knurling, the tail cap, there's sort of sharper edges. This thing looks like some type of sci-fi prop compared to your Phoenix PD35, which is more of a conservative design. The tail cap looks a little bit more refined, but yeah, they both have little bit of knurling here on the battery tube especially with this anodizing which is more on the smoother slippery end the little bit of knurling that you get on both of them really does help so underneath the lens or the head of the leds here you can see them both so sft40 for both of them okay very similar diameter uh, in terms of the reflectors i think the mh12 sc might just have a little bit more uh, width to it, but I can definitely tell with the MH12SC that the emitter sits lower down, okay, so the actual reflector is deeper. Um, apart from that, they both look quite similar. Both have AR anti-reflective glass on the front, okay, and they have smooth reflectors. In terms of UIs, they're both pretty similar. I'll just go through the PD35 first. So you turn the light on. I've actually got it memorized on high but um, you just cycle through the five different modes. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, if you want it to memorize that mode, switch it off. When you switch it on, you're able to access that mode. Okay, and that's even with the half press. Okay, half press, full press to activate. And the good thing is that you also have a battery indicator here. Full green just means fully charged, but it's good that you can get it to memorize what you want. I mean, for me, I just end up putting it on the highest mode and getting it to memorize that so um, you can also hold down that button to access strobe mode okay but it won't memorize strobe mode here with the mh12 se um, similar sort of ui as well we turn the light on but you can go through again select those five modes as you can see um, you can also you can also click and hold to access strobe so pretty basic ends up going onto the uh, moonlight mode as well. So you can actually turn that on. Same kind of tactical design here in the back where you, a half press will turn on uh, the light and a full press will just switch it on completely. In terms of performance, you're gonna find that the Nightcore MH12SE is going to be able to out throw it and also last a little bit longer as well. Given that it takes a 21700 cell battery, it can also take an 18650. The PD35 accepts an 18650 battery only, but again, it's a little bit smaller. So having this one in your pocket is gonna feel more comfortable than this one, especially around the head end of the flashlight here. It's also a little bit shorter. The deeper reflector on the MH12 SE is going to be able to throw further over 400 meters, whereas the PD35 will throw 357 meters. The MH12 SE has an included battery cartridge that lets you take CR123 cells as well. So you can take primary cells. You don't get that with the PD35. If you are looking for a light that can take multiple battery configurations, um, it can throw further, has generally better performance okay but you don't mind putting up with a slightly bulkier package the mh12 se is a good choice if you're looking for a smaller flashlight smaller and reliable flashlight maybe a more conservative design and build and you just want a smaller profile tactical flashlight to carry around with you the phoenix pd35 is a great option it still manages to keep up in terms of throw and overall output, both then produce very similar output. So yeah, just comes down to personal choice and uh, what you are looking for, what you want to carry around with you. If you have any questions about these lights, let me know in the comments, because I've probably missed out bits and pieces. But for now, let's cut straight to the beam shots. I've got the Phoenix PD35 3.0 versus the Nightcore MH12SE. These are two very similar flashlights 
These flashlights both have the SFT40, but they perform a little differently. Let's have a look at the PD35 on the left first. Okay, and this is on turbo. Quite a large hotspot. All right, I'll bring in the MH12SE here on the right. Okay, and we'll flick between them. So that's the PD35, and that's the MH12SE here, PD35. MH12 SE and I mean you can see that the MH12 SE does throw you know good amount further and it's got a deeper reflector larger reflector but uh, if you compare the hotspots you can see there look at that one the PD35 has a much larger hotspot uh, more diffused as well okay but let's see how both of these perform over you know a little bit longer we'll see if it uh, if either of them start to ramp down faster or more noticeably and there's those goal posts again on the left both of them quite easily hitting them PD35 MH12 PD35 MH12 okay you can tell them uh, PD35 on the left MH12 SC on the right okay um, yeah, they're starting to, yeah, I mean, you can still see that the MH12 is, has that high candela still, but it is ramping down. Okay, it's been how many minutes now? It's been about two minutes, and uh, the MH12 still throws further, I can see, it still throws a little further than the PD35. Um, but they're more starting to approximate each other in terms of throw. Okay, let's just go down a notch. Let's turn these on to the high modes. Okay, switch these back off. One, two, three, four. Okay, these are the high modes, and we've got the PD35 on the left and the MH12SE on the right. PD35, MH12SE, okay. I would say on the ground they're producing similar amounts of spill, uh, but the MH12 is still a little bit brighter in overall, uh, in terms of overall spill on the ground, it's marginally brighter and it still throws a bit further, but the MH12SE has a much larger hotspot, illuminating a much larger area. Okay, 